Our Shalom. I'm going to start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. Bahasham, Yahweh Shah, Bahasham, Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to the elder apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, the GMS, the men that rule well over the nation of Israel, which consists of you so called Negroes, you so called Latinos, and you so called Native Americans, and the brothers and sisters that scatter throughout the other nations that the scriptures describe as being the confusion of faith. Okay, because we have brothers and sisters that look like the other nations. All right. And I want to say peace and blessings to the elect. Okay. Um, I just wanted to go over an article that um, <clears throat> that came up on my uh, news feed. Uh, it's referring to um, Alex Jones and the Infowars. Okay. And I'm going to just go through the article and bring out a couple of scriptures, you know, just you know through the spirit so um i was reading the news and uh this came up it says facebook removes alex jones and infowars pages apple spotify and youtube also have taken action against the conspiracy theorists okay um i'm gonna get straight to the points okay um, last week, Facebook removed four videos from Jones' affiliated pages and placed Jones, an administrator of the pages, on a 30-day block. However, the other administrators continue posting content on the pages. Okay. And I'm going to go down. Okay. Jones is a conservative radio host and conspiracy theorist. Okay. Now... Some of the things that he spoken spoke on, okay, which this is one of them, claimed that in 2012, Sandy Hook Elementary School massacre was a hoax, okay, which us in the know, we know, okay, and it was a hoax, okay. All these school shootings are, are, are nothing more than inside jobs, okay, to put fear in the hearts of the average American, okay? And it has other, uh, well, I guess it didn't come up, but it actually goes into some of the things that, you know, that, uh, that he spoke on, okay, that they consider to be uh, conspiracy theories, okay? One of the other things was that... Uh, 9-11 was an inside job, which we here at Great Millstone, you know, we know that 9-11 was an inside job, okay? <clears throat> now, the purpose of this lesson is to show that um, the famine of the word is coming, okay? It, it's already begun, you know, brothers' pages are being flagged, videos are being flagged, removed, okay? Left and right. All right, because the truth, the truth is gone out. OK, and um, they're going to put these these little trigger words on there like conspiracy theorists. OK, because anything that goes against uh, the norm or, or what your government tells you has to be crazy. OK, you're a conspiracy nut. All right. Um saying 9-11 was an inside job you 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 you're unpatriotic and you're a conspiracy theorist okay um the oklahoma city bombings all that uh all the way back to 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 pearl harbor okay all these things were inside jobs done by your own government okay the united states government all right and um with them taken down, because when I first saw it, it says Facebook removes Alex Jones. Okay, I was like, all right, you know, because we don't use Facebook anyway. Okay, but we do use YouTube. Okay, now when I read down, it says Apple, Spotify, and YouTube also have taken action against the conspiracy uh, theorist content. Okay. And it just, the article, and brothers can go read it for themselves, it's from the Huffington Post, the Huff, Huff Post, okay? And um, <clears throat> you can go and read it for yourself, but um, just to show that they're starting to pull stuff, okay? 
because I believe the guy's name was Jay Rockefeller who said who actually said the internet was a bad idea okay for for everybody to be able to access any type of information okay that that was a bad idea they never wanted they they don't want this truth to go out okay um a scripture comes to mind in the book of daniel let me get that right quick um daniel 12 let's see <clears throat> Um, okay here we are this is daniel chapter 12 and verse 4 it says but thou o daniel shut up the words and seal the book even to the time of the end okay which is where we are now the end okay it says many shall run to and fro and knowledge shall be increased okay which is a key indicator that we're at the end because knowledge has increased. How is that? Via the internet, okay? Just about anything you want to know, okay, you can, it's at the, the tip of your thumbs, okay? You can type it in. You can find out all any information. The main information is getting this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, which is the main thing that they didn't want to go out, Okay? But the scriptures say that, you know, that these devils, they're going to tell on themselves, okay? That's where you get your WikiLeaks, okay, your Julian Assange, okay, and others, okay? Now, we're not saying Alex Jones is in the truth, okay? But he does bring out some truth, okay? But um, the, the, the main uh, focus of this lesson is that a famine of the word is coming, Okay? Let me get a scripture, another scripture, okay? And this video ain't gonna be long. I just wanna touch on some points because I saw this. I said, well, you know, this is information that needs to be, needs to go out, all right? So uh, this is the book of Isaiah, chapter 55 and verse uh, six. It says, seek ye the Lord Yahweh by Shem Yahweh while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near okay seek ye the lord while he may be found okay now as our elder apostles and elders always say you know the information highway the internet okay mainly youtube okay because that's 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 our biggest uh platform the information the the, the name of the heavenly father and his son who we are, what's happened, what's happening, what's going to happen. All that information is out there, okay, via the internet. And like I said, mainly YouTube, okay. So the scripture is saying, seek ye the Lord while he may be found, okay. Because it's going to come a point in time that we're not going to be out on the street corners anymore preaching, okay. The scriptures say there's a time and season for everything, okay. The time that we're in right now is the time that I'm reading about right now. We're at the end. And as the book of Isaiah 55 and 6 says, seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Okay. This is the time that we're in right here at the end to get this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. Okay. This is that time. Okay. So, seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. Okay, and how do you call on the Lord? Well, we give you we, we give you that understanding. Okay, you call on the Lord by calling his name. Yahweh in the name of his son, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rakakodash in the name of the Holy Spirit. Okay, that's how you pray. You pray to the Heavenly Father in the name of his son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Okay, as the scriptures say, anything you ask in my name, you know. Roughly paraphrasing, but you got to know the names, okay? So seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Right now, he's he's stretching his hands out, okay? <clears throat> so this is the time to get it, man, okay? Because pretty soon, ain't going to be no more internet. 
ain't going to, well, they'll, they'll have internet, but access to the information, the understanding of this word is going, they're going to start taking it all down, man, because they don't want this to go out. Because the more this word goes out, the more this place goes down. And you can clearly see that. Uh, the brother was over, and we were talking about how long we had been in the troop, okay? Um, he said 10 years, so 10 years, okay? I, I, I'm not good with, with time like that. I don't, I have a hard time remembering dates and stuff, you know? But uh, he said 10 years, so 10 years, okay? And you can see from that time that since, what what he say, 2008? Because he met us in 2008, so I guess I've been in the truth a little longer than that, but, you know, whatever, you know. But uh, when he, when this particular brother that I'm speaking of got with us, it was in 2008, so it's 2018 now, okay? And you can see from that time, from the time of 2008, okay, when we first heard the the elder apostles and the elders on YouTube, okay, <clears throat> you can see from that time up until now how much, how progressively worse things have gotten, okay? Which is a good thing for us, okay? Because we know that things have to get totally jacked up before the Lord returns, okay? And prophecies must come to pass. And we're seeing these prophecies come to pass, okay? So you can see from the time that we've been bringing it out, which, like I say, 10 years, brothers waking up, this place going down, okay? And like the Apostle Tahar, the elder Apostle Tahar says, these elites, they shook, man. They are shook. That's why the famine of the word is coming, okay? And they they gonna be there's gonna be more uh videos being taken down, more videos being flagged, more pages being deleted, okay, being taken down, okay. And as you can see here in this article, um, where was it? Uh, YouTube on Monday removed the Alex Jones channel, which had more than two million subscribers, okay. For what? For violating YouTube's community guidelines, okay? YouTube removed four of his videos, okay? And like I said, you can go and, and, and pull this up, pull this article up and, and look more into it for yourself, you know? But <clears throat> if they, 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 they knocking him, he ain't bringing out the truth of the Heavenly Father, you know? Of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, okay? So how much more us? All right. That's why the scriptures say what they say. Okay. And of course, I'm going to get Amos 8. And uh, let me see. I think I got it on here. Let me see. Yeah, Con. This is the book of Amos, chapter 8, and verse 11. It says, Behold, the days come, said the Lord God, that I will send, send a famine in the land. Not a famine of bread, okay? Because, you know, when people think of famine, that's the first thing that comes in their mind. Oh, there's nothing to eat. There's nothing to drink, okay? So it goes on to say, not a famine of bread, nor a, a, nor a thirst for water, okay? But of hearing the words of the Heavenly Father, okay? And that's, this is a prophecy, OK. And this prophecy is about to come to pass. OK, because we are at the end of this thing, man. OK. So I'm going to read it again. Amos 8 and 11. Matter of fact, let me get it out of my scriptures. Or out of these scriptures. OK. I just I, I just rather read it out of my scripture. Well, out of the scriptures. Okay, this is Amos 8, chapter 8 and verse 11. It says, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord God, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of, of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. Okay? 
So that's the time that we're entering into, man. Okay? It's only going to get rougher from here, man. But that goes back to counting the cost. Okay? It's only going to get rougher. Okay? That's why the scriptures say, He that endureth to the end. Okay? You have to endure to the end. Okay? This ain't the time to, 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 to fall back and, and you know, and, and, you know, be idle. This is the time to kick it into the next gear, man. Okay? This is the time to pick up the pace. This, this We in the final stretch, man. Okay? So seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Because a famine of the word is coming. And by me seeing that article right there, that's just further proof, you know, that uh, the famine of the word is coming. And like I said, I'm not, this video ain't going to be long, but I just want to share that article and filter it through the scriptures as, you know, as I was taught by my elder apostles and elders, okay? Through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah Bashim Kodash, okay? So, um, I hope that bit of information helped, and as always, Lord willing, you know, this uh, lesson was edifying, okay? So with that, I'm going to end it right there, and again, give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah, Bahasham, Rakaq I'm going to give double honors to the elder apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, or GMS, the men that rule well over the nation of Israel, which again consists of you so-called Negroes, you so-called Latinos, and you so-called Native Americans, okay? And to the brothers and sisters that scattered throughout the other nations, that look like the other nations, because Israel come and we're we going to look like everybody, man, because we've been scattered. You're going to have Israelites that look like Chinese. You're going to have Israelites that look like uh, Africans, Russians, um, East Indians, okay? We're going to come and we're going to look like all the nations, okay? Because Israel has been scattered, okay? So to the confusion of face, okay? And I want to say peace and blessings to the elect. And until the next time, I say Shalom.